I think Thomasville, in many respects, is like a lot of small towns across the country. When your town is built on industries such as furniture or textiles or something that is, the dynamics can change and we've experienced an economic downturn, the community has two choices. It can fold on itself or it can say, okay, what can we do? And in those instances, I think the fragility and the fortitude of the citizens come out. I got a call from Doug Croft wanting me to be involved in this uh, campaign, this Envision 2020 campaign, which is basically to improve things in Thomasville over the next 20 years. One of the things that we're doing for All America City is the Children at Play initiative, which involved redoing the, the playground equipment in, in all the parks. And we had somebody that came to us that said, hey, let's do something different. You know, we've got seven parks. Let's make one a little extra special. Let's make one where we've got, you know, some people here and some children in Thomasville that, that have some special needs. We want to have a playground that's accessible to everybody. And the other thing that the, the old parks were harboring was, was crime. Once they saw this new playground equipment that was in there, they said, wow, we can take pride in something now. They're wanting to go there and play. The parks are full now. The crime's down. And now we're starting phase two to show that childhood obesity is a problem and things that we can do to resolve that problem. So we got a committee together and within, oh gosh, probably 10 to 12 days, we were meeting at Thomasville City Schools with Sandy McGee and Peggy Finch and myself, the guidance counselor, social workers, and Barbara Armstrong. And here we are right before exams, you know, for the semester end, and they're going, why have you pulled us in here for this meeting? And I'm sitting there, well, I have this vision and I need help fleshing it out. Because actually right now we have over 100 homeless children in Thomasville City Schools. And the reason that is so significant, nationwide, one in 50 school children is homeless. But in Thomasville City Schools, where we have a population in the four schools of 2,500, when you have over 100, that's one in 25. And so we launched this poster campaign of Project Divine Interruption on Valentine's Day of 2011. Our purpose is to keep these children in school on a regular basis and keep them encouraged. And so we came up with the idea that we would, this money would be used for hygiene kits because we try and keep their dignity and ID protected as much as possible. We create these hygiene kits and they let their teachers know when they need them. And there's just, and we, we put them in gift bags. So when they go get them, somebody might see them walk and think it's their birthday or something because they have a gift bag with tissue paper and everything that's in there. The good news is all of our children who are deemed homeless are at or above grade level compared to their peers who have a stable environment to go home to each night. One of the things that make me proud to be a business person here in Thomasville is the collaboration that takes place. It's just everybody came together to make this happen and to make it work. And I think part of having the All-America City Award here will encourage others to come and say, gosh, they have something going on. Let's go see what that is and maybe Maybe it's something that we want to emulate because for me, if you if you look at the word Thomasville and you think of the word, think of our community of Thomasville, I think of hope. And it's basically hope has an address and it's Thomasville.